The first time I walked into a Bricks and Minifigs was on the island of Oahu. We just fell in love with it. It was amazing and overwhelming, and I think my son found heaven. So I knew I loved this store and that I loved the concept and I wanted to introduce my husband to it. He also fell in love with it. He'd been in the military for a long time. He was gone almost every year with deployment and we were tired of not being all together. He was gonna miss our children's teenage years. So we found out there wasn't one in the DFW area and we decided to come and open our own so we could be a family and be together all the time. Starting a small business is actually daunting. We found out we should be majority veteran owned as opposed to majority woman owned. We also found out that it was very difficult to secure a loan. I was prepared for up to 10 no's before just throwing in the towel and we had five no's and our amazing banker talked us off the ledge a few times. Then the store didn't open when it was supposed to. Construction always takes longer than they say it will. So all of our advertising was for a specific date. We weren't open that day, but we had no more money to advertise the new grand opening. And so our actual grand opening was a little underwhelming. In fact, at the time, it was the worst grand opening in Bricks and Minifigs history. <laughs> so, anyway. We became one of the top grossing Bricks and Minifigs in the country. And then we opened two more locations in the Metroplex. We spread ourselves a little too thin and we had to file bankruptcy and then COVID hit. So we're down to our original store here in Plano. We're here because of our customers and how much they're like family. When people come through the door, since I live at my store more than I live at my house, I want them to feel like they're coming home. If somebody comes into my house, I don't just like blow them off. I'm like, hi, welcome, I'm glad you're here. And when they leave, I say goodbye, have a great day or be safe. And I do that here at my store because my store is my home and my customers are family to me. We've been to funerals, we've been invited to weddings, and I've seen children grow up in my store. I literally have store babies. They were babies when I opened and now they're going into first grade. And it's amazing. If you love being a part of our BAM family, please make sure you share our video so we can expand our family.